Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are starting the level 4 boss known as Magman. And I'm gonna do it without powers like I like to do for the sake of showing you stuff. You can see he's in the background there. Suck up one of those enemies and throw it at the fingers that you see along the way. I think they're fingers, but they're definitely a part of him, so... I mean, because they damage him, that's how you can tell. When he does this attack, look out for what platforms he is using them on, otherwise that could hurt. Although, whoops, although you could just, you know, float. Uh, perfect timing there. You could just float above the platforms, you would be just fine as well. That pushes you towards the hot lava ceiling. Yeah, we got upside down gravity defying lava a la Mario 3 going on there. <laughs> that was a pretty odd castle if, if you remember that and oh there wasn't any enemies by me but he totally did not aim this last attack because I was in a safe spot to begin with oh I was pointing the wrong way and I sh actually should not do that because I could hurt him like that as well forgot about that because those enemies yield fire and now get to the right side because he is coming after you oh god and you're supposed to throw stuff at him, and I waited a little. I mean, I did it a little bit too early there. His enemy meter wasn't up on the screen. My bad. What you're supposed to do here, and I'm strangely low on health. And oh, for that attack, you're supposed to be near him. I forgot about that. Curse my bad memory. And he's gonna switch sides. Not expect I would be this low on energy. And what you're supposed to do is throw or shoot enemies at him like so. Uh, you're going to fire spout? Yes, you are. See, that's a safe spot. It's not obvious when you look at it, but there's no safe spot otherwise. Like, we would think that a fire breath attack, you'd want to be away from him, like instinctively, but nope, that's not the case. And now that I got his attack pattern, I might be able to do this with one health. Although these rocks could be an issue. I forgot about those as well, oh boy. This is turning into a much more exciting fight than I expected it would be. <laughs> All right, come out of the lava. There. I did it too early. I don't like these rocks because they're unpredictable. Ugh. That's okay. Just gotta watch the top of the screen and try to dodge, oh God. Get near him, okay. Or save poor Kirby's tired. Oh, oh god, rocks. Oh, that's why I don't like the rocks. Double firepower for the win this time. Yeah, I managed to combine them in a rather odd way, actually, but it all worked out, and I still took a bit of damage here because I'm clearly clearly rusty at facing this boss and that's the power of that fire move there except I did it at a terrible terrible time and now use it like that and I'm gonna use it close to the ground actually because it seems a little bit safer to do it like when you bounce off him like that oh no wait, maybe you have to yeah you have to hit him in the face oh, I, my memory is just terrible with this boss that's why I'm doing so badly Although I got his attack pattern pretty well down now, I'm still at an embarrassing two health. Oh, I don't like the rocks. Yeah! Oh no! I did not take into account that at all, and oh, come on! Second phase with five health this time. I think I got the hang of it now. But I, then again, I thought I got the hang of it the other time and I didn't and yeah you see how things go went and try and get as many of those rocks in it as you possibly can because the more you have the more power it has as you've seen right there but that's kind of like a curvy staple there Ooh, two firebirds at the same time yeah now things are going awesome oh god Get right on the edge, see where his heat ring is on the floor there, get right on the edge of that and you'll know you're safe. But don't get too close because, you know, he's still lava-licious and stuff, so... Gotta be careful of that. So wait a second, I can get these two, can't I? Yeah, I got a little greedy there, but it worked out. And there you go. Woo! 
I don't know why that, ga that gave me so much trouble, but it did for whatever reason. Cutscene. Oh boy. Things are getting serious. Run before you're all destroyed! Get in! Hurry! No, Waddle Dee! You can make it! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I love that. It sucks it in like a vacuum. Well, you know, sucks them like a ping pong ball onto a vacuum and it gets stuck or something like that. You get what I'm saying. Level 5, Shiver Star. I just thought I would give you another taste of the theme song, and, and let's start! 5-1, and I'm gonna need a fire enemy to melt a little ice later on here. And I didn't show these powers together, did I, before. The bomb plus needle. You turn into an exploding Gordo. Yeah, <laughs> it's rather interesting that you actually turn into an enemy, although... Kirby enemies are kind of like, like, I don't want to say they vary from game to game because they do, but I mean like, remember Super Mario RPG where they gave a different take on the enemies, like there was good versions of enemies and bad versions of the enemies? Yeah, that's what they're kind of doing here, at least that's what I feel like they're doing here, like this is the good kind of Gordo, so to speak. But I haven't actually seen another... Uh, Gordo that wasn't, you know, that was actually something that wasn't dangerous to you. Although, even a friendly kind of Gordo may be a bad kind of Gordo, because I don't, I'm not really sure if you can hug something like that. <laughs> I mean, it seems a little too spiky for that. Ooh, I need you. Gimme. Yeah. Oh! You too. Woohoo! Might as well, huh? Yeah! Flaming Phoenix! It's a pretty neat power, but you can't control how far this goes, so you can often fall into something, like as a trap by mistake or something like that. Well, not a trap by mistake, because traps aren't by mistake, but you get what I'm saying here. Uh, I always like to get up here before those enemies get there, because they, they get in your way and stuff like that. And, and by the way, in case you don't realize, we're climbing up an ice cream sculpture. Only in Kirby. <laughs> Gotta love it. And I don't believe there were any shards up to this point just yet, but there are going to be in this sledding portion. Yeah, so be on the lookout for them. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh bougies. I think I have to get on top of a um, snow fort of sorts. Not this one. There's one that's... Uh, a lot larger and shallower in design that you can actually get on top of. Uh, you'll recognize it. I mean, I'll recognize it when I see it. This one. There's the first shark. And look out for holes of death because you'll flip and get hurt. I never showed myself getting hurt on one of these things, did I? Maybe I should show that once. Well, it looks like that, only you take damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is the thing that you need the fire for. Oops, I totally flubbed that up. I knew he was on that side of the screen, it's just that I wanted to kill off the enemies above me, but what? I don't even know why I bothered doing that, because they spawn infinitely, so that was terrible playing on my part. But then again, that's kind of my thing sometimes. Just gotta look out for his ice field of death. Blizzard attack. Oh, and yeah, those uh, fridges can fall on you. Well, I mean, they dive toward you, and there we go. No, 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 don't go! I couldn't control my forward momentum. Dang it, this is what you need the fire for. You break that, and there's a crystal shard in there once you beat the boss. Another one that I missed due to... I mean, another one that I missed in the boss area due to the dang... Games design. Well, it's not the games design that was the fault, in all honesty. I mean, I, I could have better timed that attack. Uh, you can go under the water here, and that is 
where you can find a shard a little bit later on. Not in this particular area in general, but there's another hole in the ice that you'll be able to go under and it'll have a shard in it. But I can't believe I did that again. <sighs> so I'd have to go through the stage again just for that one and... Yeah... I should probably keep my firepower the whole way through as well because... Yeah, I'm gonna need it again anyway. Oh, and this ice is slippery, obviously. <laughs> if you miss... Like, if you don't aim it properly, you are... Uh, like, you're just stuck in one spot for a good amount of time and great. This is definitely not my video whatsoever. It's not like the game is hard, either. It's just that I'm really messing things up. I know you don't have a power, but I... Wait, you do have power? I thought you didn't have a power. Well, I guess it has ice. <laughs> and since there's a lot of flat planes, I might as well combine them. Although it's not going to work at these holes, as I figured. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely not my video, but I'm still having fun, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> I could use a cut, I suppose, but it's not that far away, and I kind of was in a commentary flow, and I hate cutting when I'm in a flow of something. Okay, here's the spot that you got to go underwater, and this leads to a shard. You can't get to it on the other side, you have to go through that hole in specific. And there's the shard. Yeah. See, on this side, it is completely solid at the surface. There's no breaks in the ice, that's why you gotta use the hole on the other side, then go through the ice cream cone, which is most likely soggy. I mean, that, that would not be a very edible thing, in my opinion. Although, some people might like that sort of thing. I'm not one to judge, but that I don't think I would like too much. Yeah. So that was the third shard. And we are at the end of the level. I think... No, I'm... Man, I'm just misjudging everything today. I'm just horrible, horrible today. <laughs> well, at least this video, I mean. Not, not today in general. The last video that I made was also today, and I did pretty well. It's like I've lost all composure. And by the way, this is really beautiful. And look out for these. They're going to be rolling rocks at you. Rocks of Doom, even though they're kind of predictable, it's... In fact, the, whenever you see stuff like that in a Kirby game, it's almost like you react to it normally. I mean, you react to it expecting that it's going to be a trap, because those kinds of traps are, like, everywhere in Kirby games, so it's it's not like an unexpected occurrence or something like that. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I'm going to get you, Penguin. Yeah, I got you. I don't know why I got that strawberry cheesecake, but I did. I mean, I was at full health. <laughs> oh, jeez! I was not outside its range like I thought I was. The range is a lot larger. And there's Kiki again, just flying around for no reason whatsoever. And I'm gonna jump and totally fail. Jeez, this part is horrible! Well, in terms of my skill level. Anyway, I'm gonna get that shard. Needle plus ice! Giant Snowflake! I just thought I would show you that one because it's a pretty neat power. You can't move while you're using it, but it's so cool looking. Let's see what it's like to take a hit! And yeah, that's pretty much it. Here we are again. Let's see if I can do this without... doing it in a way that I'm going to get pooped out the door. I want to do this like... I want to get above him so that the range of my attack... Oh man, I missed. <laughs> so, no, 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 I need... Wow, the failures in this part are just unbelievable. And I just realized that there's two fire enemies at the beginning of this stage that I totally missed somehow. Wow, I am just terrible. Horrible today. Well, this part again. Why do I keep even saying today? Even my commentary is terrible this part. Yes, I did have to restart this level from the beginning once again because of that last blunder. Jeez. Alright. Blitz, attack, this sucker, and then I've got a different plan this time. I can't even slide into it. Jeez. Well, how am I supposed to get him without flying out the door <sighs> because I need that power to get up there 
for the shard, so yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the part again. Alright, here we are again. I have a plan for the last hit this time, though. I'm actually gonna go on the right side of him, and then use the power. I don't care if I take a hit or something, it's just I'm going to get over here and hope I don't lose my power, actually, so maybe I do kind of care about taking a hit. Like that. And, because that door will protect me from moving forward, I mean, leaving the area, and then I can get the shard. I'm done! <laughs> I had such a terrible streak, I am done! I am calling it quits for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. That was horrible! But I hope you enjoyed anyway. Really.